So today, we are making one of the most beautiful potato dishes that hail from Spain and truly a dish that's gonna rock your palate because it is that good. We're talking a Spanish potato romesco bake. This dish is from the region of Catalonia in the northeast of Spain where it's known as patatas al horno con salsa romesco y queso. And let me tell you, it's got so many incredible layers of flavors to it. It's made with very simple ingredients and it's all done in about 45 minutes, folks. Not only are these potatoes the perfect side dish for any meal, but the recipe is super easy to make. Let's begin by cutting three three medium-sized potatoes that have been peeled, washed, and patted dry into rounds that are a quarter inch thick, which is a little over half a centimeter. Now to make this recipe, you want to use potatoes that are a bit more waxy than starchy. That way when you cook them, they hold their shape and they don't get mushy. I'm using new potatoes, but you can also use Yukon Gold, Golden Delight, or even red potatoes. Then I'm going to transfer the sliced potatoes into a stock pot and fill it with some cold water. You want to go to about half an inch above the potatoes, which is one and a quarter centimeters. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. While the potatoes are starting to cook, let's start making our omesco sauce. I'm gonna add in five jarred roasted red bell peppers into a food processor. To make this sauce, you can also use a blender or even a handheld mixer, or you can even go the old school way and use a mortar and pestle. Then I'm gonna add in a generous quarter cup of tomato concentrate, which is 60 grams. One clove of garlic that I cut in half eight roasted almonds, and eight roasted hazelnuts. The ones that I'm using, I bought pre-roasted from the market. One teaspoon of white wine vinegar, which is five milliliters, and a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. Then we'll season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. and we'll run the food processor on a low speed, just between one to two minutes, or until we end up with a beautiful creamy sauce. And that's the exact texture you want from your romesco sauce, a beautiful creamy texture. All right, let's move back to the potatoes. It's been about 15 minutes since I turned on the heat and they should be fully cooked through. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in there, but with a little resistance, they're ready to go. You don't want to overboil them, otherwise they can easily fall apart. At this point, I'm gonna start gently removing them from the stock pot and placing them over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath. and we're gonna leave our potatoes to sit here just for a couple minutes, that way they can air dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna grease a casserole dish with one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters, and then brush it all around. That way later on, when we add the potatoes in there and the rest of the ingredients, they don't stick to the surface. Now the size of this casserole dish is 12 inches by nine inches, which is 30 centimeters by 22 centimeters. Once the potatoes have slightly cooled off, and they're fully air dried, I'm gonna start gently adding them into the casserole dish, making sure they're all in a flat layer. Then I'm gonna season the potatoes with some freshly cracked black pepper. No need to add salt here, as we boil those potatoes in that salted water, but if you want, you can add a little sprinkle of salt. Then we'll add in our Omesco sauce, making sure that the sauce is evenly coating all the potatoes. And for the final ingredient, I'm gonna finely grate one cup of manchego cheese, which is 120 grams. And once again, you wanna make sure that that cheese is evenly spread out. Now the manchego cheese that I'm using has been aged for three months, so it's got a nice flavor to it, but it easily melts. However, you can use whatever type of cheese you want for this recipe. And we're gonna add the casserole dish into a preheated oven, bake and broil option. That's the bottom and top heat, 220 degrees Celsius, which is 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and leave it in there between 10 to 15 minutes or until that cheese is fully melted and it's got a beautiful golden crust to it. If your oven can't do both functions at the same time, no big deal. You just bake them in there for a couple more minutes or once again until that cheese is fully melted and you end up with an incredible golden crust. After about 15 minutes, I'm gonna remove the casserole dish from the oven.
and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our Spanish potato romesco bake is done. Once again, this is known here in Spain as patatas al horno con salsa romesco y queso. Such a beautiful presentation, super easy to make and the flavors are gonna be mind blowing good. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. All right, folks, time for the moment of truth. Let's see how these turned out. Wow, it does. First things first is the potatoes. They're beautifully cooked. They're fully cooked through, but they kept their shape. And as for the flavors, that romesco sauce with the manchego cheese, boom, an explosion of so much goodness, folks. Like I told you at the beginning, the perfect potato side dish for any meal of the day. Give these a try home. You're going to absolutely love them. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Robert Jefferson, aka the Kamakura Gardener, Martin John Matson, Jesper Haloon, Jim Owens, and Tommy Williams. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon and you'd like to support the show, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.